Welcome back to Cookies and Milk episode 120. As Ben astutely said, that's two hours if they're all a minute. Like a maniac. I do that at work all the time. I have to think about a thing in terms of minutes. We're having rainbow cookies. People always say uh, God awful, but they never say God good. What do you think that is? I don't know. Is it anti-Christian? What? God good? Yeah. Wouldn't God awful be anti-Christian? Oh. That's woke. No, it's not. Uh, anyway, <laughs> you platinum God of War. Platinum God of War. Platinum the game of the year. I heard it was good <laughs> from, uh, I guess, IGN or whatever the fuck. Uh, and I picked it up because that's the only way I play video games. I've been waiting all year. You didn't pick it up. You borrowed it from me at last in November. Year, I picked it up. I picked up. What was game of the year last year? Um, what was it? Uh, uh, I picked up uh, Overwatch. No. I beat the story mode in Overwatch. Yeah. How what was, was game it? of the year last year? Did you, did you do you know? What was the was it The Witcher? No. No. That was 2015. Yeah. What was game of the year last year? What came out last year? Mario Odyssey. It was, wasn't it? No. No? Mario Odyssey was in 2017. Last year was 2017. No, it wasn't. Last year was 2018. Okay, so last year was God of War. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> And no. the year before that was Mario Odyssey. Yeah, probably. Oh, damn, I'm real behind on Mario Odyssey. Let me borrow that. Just kidding. Oh, wait, I mean, unless you guys aren't playing it. Okay, cool. Of course we're not playing it. <laughs> I mean, I still have to play Bandit 2 also. Didn't play. But you own that. Yeah, that was mine. Uh, might play this sooner. I mean, I've already started Bandit 2. Try to speedrun it. I will. I won't. <laughs> uh, I started it's Bandit 2. so easy. Uh, what's up with... Uh, is it Loki? Is his name Loki in what about Bandit it? 2? I don't like him. Oh? Uh, I don't want him to be in the game. That's too bad. Uh, I don't want him to say love anymore. That's too bad. I mean, like... Uh, both of those things are going to happen whether you want them to or not. He's a pinnacle character. I don't want that. That's too bad! What is up with Bayonetta game? Bayonetta 1 and Little Cereza? Was Little One yeah, Little Cereza? Little Cereza, yeah. That was fine. That was fun. Yeah? Because uh, Little Cereza was cute. And she didn't have any spunk. And Loki's all spunk. He's too spunky. I played a game with Loki at the end to a game with Loki in the beginning, and I would like more games with Loki at the end. What do you mean? Uh, Atreus. Oh. Spoilers. Forgot a war. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, Atreus. <laughs> Archeus. Arty. RTS. My good, my <laughs> good boy, real-time strategy. <laughs> Thanks. I named you after real-time strategy. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I love StarCraft so much. <laughs> That's a retcon. Uh, Kratos was never a StarCraft player. He was a, 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 a Warcraft player. Fuck, man. Rubba. He was a Warcraft player. I got you the best Christmas gift money could buy, and you don't even like it. And man. here you are shitting on me. Here, man, look. There's, I got an automated laser pointer, uh, so he wouldn't bother us in the podcast, but here he is. I'm going to pet him. Um... <laughs> His I beat, whole tail almost went into my cup. <laughs> I platinum the God of War. Uh, and I'm trying to platinum Spider-Man. So, we talked a bit about the collectibles last time. Uh, and collectibles are one thing, but optional boss fights are another. Yeah. Optional boss fights and challenges are real. The real meat of platinuming comes in. Uh, I hate games that you have to look up a guide to platinum. Because uh, that was the worst part about God of War. Was having to have the treasure guide open while I was doing it. Shit, yeah, you gotta do treasure maps, right? Yeah, uh, treasure maps were fine, except for one of them. I got all of them with no help, except, do you remember the bandit stronghold, where you find out that they bludgeoned the dude's head in with the whetstone? Yeah. Uh, so when you go there, if you turn right, immediately off getting off the boat, there's a ladder. And the ladder takes you up to a little, uh, nest up top. Okay. Uh, and there's a treasure in there, and I was like, what the f- what? You didn't know. No, I had no idea. That's so easy to miss. Yeah. Um, optional bosses are fun, but they're not. Yeah. Because they're the hardest the game can throw at you. Without impeding progress. Yes. Uh, or sometimes they're demix. Uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> and you are 12. <laughs> and you are 12! <laughs> and your younger brother is 9. <laughs> yeah. But then your younger brother beats him. Mm-hmm. And you don't play Kingdom Hearts 2 anymore. And you don't play Kingdom Hearts 2 anymore. <laughs> That's your little brother's game. 
it's too easy for me. Yeah. Oh, I I, I could have beat him whenever I wanted. <laughs> right. Yeah. And he's licking my hand. Stop it. <laughs> so, uh, the treasures, uh, the uh, the lost trinkets, uh, the crows, uh, those were all terrible. No wonder just were fine. I was like, how did I miss these? I literally... Are you fucking kidding me, man? I needed to move, like, one step to the right, and there's the doorway to the Nornir chest, and I'm like, okay, great. Yeah. But... Muswellheim was rough. Did you, you did all the Muswellheim challenges? Up to the Valkyrie? Uh, I think I did them all, yeah. I don't know if I beat the Valkyrie. The Muspelheim challenge, where you have to beat a hundred enemies. What? Huh? What? What? It's, it's just so many enemies. I'm like, a hundred's not that bad. Oh, God. Oh, God. Like, there's travelers in there, dude. You have to beat it on the ultimate difficulty to play it in the game, right? On God of War difficulty? I don't think you do. Oh, thank God. I think you have I to... I can't beat the final boss. <laughs> I can't be the final boss on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> uh, I think you have to... No, wait. I think you might have to be the full game in God of War difficulty. <sighs> okay, I'll have to go to Muswellheim and uh, Niflheim and do all those quests before Get the I good go. ship. Yeah. Uh, but then I'll have to restart the boss battle. Oh, and you I'm, saved I'm, it at, like, the final frames? I'm like, no, I'm... My, my checkpoint... Is him as he's doing fire and ice. It's not that hard. It's it's rough, not that hard. But it's not that hard. So what was your setup? End of the game. Fucking. I think it was like Evaldi's hammer. Evaldi's anvil is the best uh, axe. It's AOE, right? Yeah, you just or no, uh, giant fury. Wrath of the ice giant. No frenzy, like the oh, where you slam. hit a bunch of things on the ground. Yeah. Okay. Let me see that. Uh, what was your... Oh, and, uh, uh, Hell's Touch, the, the first one you get. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> Absolute. Probably, maybe of all these Anvil. I kept, I was so desperate, I kept switching to see which <laughs> ones would work. work on him. Yeah. Uh, so you, there's... I spec you hard in a runic, it doesn't work! <laughs> there are five, or there's six, technically. Uh, so there's your, that was your L1 R2. What was your L1 R1? Uh, Hephaestus, Hephaestus, where you throw a cone forward. Wait, Hephaestus is the that was with the blades. Yeah, so uh, that was my L one, my my L one, uh, and I think like a big flurry with my L two. But it's been months. Yeah, it's, it's been right. fucking. July. <laughs> so these cookies are real crispy. I'll talk about my setup. They, they're said they're said to be crispy because <laughs> I loved it to death. I got so attached. So you do that. Uh, you would do that in a game like that. Yeah, I did too. So until I panicked. My R one circle. Do you remember like the thing that goes uh, the talisman you have? I switched that up so many times. Yeah, me too. Uh, I love the heel one though. The one that gave a little of bit of course, heel. Of course, the heel one's the best. I but I quit after I quit it after so long. Yeah. Picked it back up in Muselheim for the stupid like hundred enemies challenge. Uh, Did you get the ring? Which the ring that makes a healing zone and def increases your defense. What? It's it's not as good as you think. Uh, it's it shows the timer like the the circle gets smaller. Yeah. Or well the. Main circle doesn't stay the same, but the timer circle gets smaller, so it's, you know when it's going to end. But you don't want to do that in a game where, where you're getting, where you have to move. Yeah, uh, and you're a thousand year old man who who only working appendages is his arms. Yeah, so Kratos is so slow in the game, dude. All right, so uh, you, I you know how easy God of War uh, would be if he had the fucking somersault. <laughs> from God of War, the tr original trilogy. You're just, like, leaping across the battlefield. Yeah. Because how many times was I mid-dodge animation and I got hit by enemy Just a small sidestep? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that being said, 
the turnaround, the immediate turnaround. I should do that more. No, you shouldn't. It's so bad. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so what I realized in the final Valkyrie fight is that controller is not big enough for everything God of War wants you to do. Yeah. So. Chris uh, makes up so much of the goddamn screen. Uh, so your L1 and R... So L1 is your special attack button. Everything happens because of L1, right? Yeah. So I'm like, all right, mashing the buttons. So my best combo, by far... Uh, there's a L1, R1 that's a laser beam. Yeah. Uh, and... That's your favorite? That's my favorite. Because it stuns 90% of enemies. Okay, yeah. And cleaves sense. through health bars. Alright. Late into the game, here's the thing, it's got a, uh... It's so good against enemies, not great against bosses. Of course. Uh, but late into the game, I made an enchantment that increases its duration. Which is just what it needed, and not what it needed. Because you're stationary. You're stationary, and bosses will like stagger at first, and then maybe again, but then they'll get tired of it, uh, and then they'll come kill you. Yeah. Uh, travelers never stagger from it. Not great. Travelers don't stagger. Yeah. Until you start breaking their armor. Uh, and then you can do uh, R three finishes on them. <laughs> I never got to do an R three finish on a traveler. Uh, in my God of War run, that's all I did. I put my axe away and got my shield out. <laughs> Because I healed off R3 finishes. Oh, what? Yeah. That was my talisman for the God of War run. I was like, oh, uh, yeah, the fun little... It's a passive talisman. Yeah, uh, and it I creates... It. it creates... Uh... Well, no, it was my talisman. Oh, no, you tell... It did have a thing? Yeah. Do? It, it, my L1 circle uh, made a stun wave to people. Oh. But then I just started beating the shit out of them with my shield. Because I'm like, oh, man. I'm going to do that. Uh, and so I would get invisibility frames and a heal. Yeah, which is... And that's all I would do. <laughs> uh, you, There's a Muspelheim challenge that must have been like just a dream to you. It's the enemies recover from health immediately, so you have to critical... F or I called them glory kills because I was thinking about Doom. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, you have to R3 them. Oh, God, what a nightmare. I loved it. Because <laughs> there's an impossible one that's just like... I spent like 20 minutes on the one challenge. The ones that are the worst are the kill them all at the same time. Oh, those are pretty bad. I mean, I actually... No. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, those, and then the kill them within the rings. Fucked me up. Yeah, so, that's a Spider-Man thing. Hmm. Uh, and I, I, in Spider-Man, the third DLC, and probably in the other two, because, uh, your challenge mode giver is, is named, her name is, like, Screwball, uh, and she's, like, a, a streamer. And so, she will, like, in the in a combat challenge, she'll have, like, uh, photo op, photo bombs. Uh, and it's, like, defeat enemies in photo bombs to get points. And getting those points, because, uh, like, you can defeat enemies normally, but you have to get, like, perfect photo bombs every single time they show up, or you won't get gold. Mm -hmm. So, it's, like, kill enemies in that area, uh, and it moves in from place to place. I remember in one of the fights, I was doing it between two buildings, and the enemies were all on one side, and then it's like, get the photobomb on the empty building, and I'm like, hey, <laughs> Screwball! Screwball, did you trap these men here? Screwball, these are all prisoners. <laughs> Literally, you broke them out from prison, and you <laughs> imprisoned them in a different thing. Screwball, this is, a, this is torture. Uh, so... Uh, well, at, when I caught Screwball, the whole thing... They're uh, gone. Yeah, they're fucking... What are you talking about? They're the Riddler. It, uh, so, Batman and Spider-Man have a somewhat similar cast of villains. I don't think Spider-Man ever has a Joker. The Green Goblin, the Joker. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, Screwball and uh, the Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All screw Sandman, Clayface. Those, uh... Sandface, uh, Clayman. <laughs> uh, Electro, Shocker. Those are both Spider-Man <laughs> <laughs> villains. One of us has got to change. Uh, the Vulture, the Penguin. Uh, both of those are... Fisk, the Penguin. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the Rhino, the Penguin. <laughs> I forgot that the Penguin was a powerhouse. <laughs> An unstoppable oh, power. And the penguin. And the penguin. <laughs> That's uh, the title. Oh, and the penguin. The penguin. The penguin. <laughs> They're both birds. <laughs> you see. Um, tombstone and the penguin. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? 
Oh no. So what happened when you caught the Riddler? <laughs> <laughs> what happened when you caught the penguin? Sorry, uh, uh Clayface, <laughs> Sandman. Clayface pretending to be the penguin. <laughs> You'll never get away with the penguin. <laughs> Little does he know I'm Clayface and Batman's punching his just punching him. <laughs> He's still the penguin, but Batman injects him with a thing that hurts. Penguin's like, "How'd you know?" Ah! I'm guessing. I'm, I'm always guessing. I just like to do stuff to the penguin. I'm just like, why do you think he's like this? <laughs> ah, quack quack, Batman. <laughs> Man, he was a normal dude when we started. <laughs> Uh, did you spice me with penguin DNA, Batman? <laughs> I thought that kid Joker tagged him. <laughs> oh, no, I thought it wasn't ever Victor. <laughs> they gave me a laugh. <laughs> I thought it was cute Joker tagged him. <laughs> you wouldn't just poison the penguin for no reason. <laughs> I'm trying to cure you, Cobblepot. <laughs> you were in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great. You know how every uh, like animated like Batman takes its own spin on the Penguin. What if the DC Universe uh, Penguin was just like Batman ruined my life? Just like not even like a joke. He just like <laughs> Batman a menace. Uh, <laughs> Literally. Oh, we get it. He's a vigilante. You don't think you can't do this? <laughs> He's yeah. hurting me. <laughs> Chase it down, Screwball. Uh, Spider-Man says, just because you have a lot of fans doesn't mean you're a good person. Uh, and that's like uh, playing on who, like what's wrong with her. Uh, she's like, wow, uh, keep the keep the banner light, Spider-Man, and that's it. That's it. And you uh, slam her head against a uh, crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I stealth take down Screwball. <laughs> <laughs> just because you have a lot of fans doesn't mean you're a good person. Bam! <laughs> Oh! Oh! I think she be... wears a helmet! <laughs> Flip that helmet right off and hit her with it! <laughs> oh god! Live stream of this! She can't, he can't do this! He's hurting me! <laughs> this is deafening crack! Oh god! Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh boy! In God of War, uh, <laughs> my uh, blades weapons. I use the basic L1 R1 and the basic L2 R L1 R2 because they're just really good. Yeah. I just real fast bunch of enemies. Well, the Hephaestus thing is the cone in front, and yeah. it just hits all in front of me. That seems ideal and too. And it's quick and it reloads fast. Uh, my but when you beat uh, Muspelheim or some amount of difficulty in the Muspelheim, you get a rain of meteors. Yes, I. Do you get that at the end? You might get it just before the I boss. I think I might have beaten that Valkyrie. I think you get it from the Valkyrie, actually. Uh, but, and it's so sweet. It just, like, tears enemies up, which I needed for Niflheim. Because if I had to walk into another room in Niflheim, and it's like, hey, it's three revenants, I was going to kill somebody. Those revenants. I was, I not those revenants, I was because I left. <laughs> I can't, because I would, like, stop time. Oh, I got the stop time. Uh, talisman, right. which is what you get from one of the Valkyries. Mm -hmm. I use like every talisman I got. Do you ever get to use the punch one? The pu oh yeah, the, what the spatial ren? Punch yeah, one? like s you like just punch people backwards or something. I don't know. It it, it buffed all stats. So oh, that's what it does. Yeah, because the, the description is like an amazingly powerful artifact that had to be broken up and is lost to time. Yeah, and I did it, and it's just like a punch, and I was like, huh. Yeah. For what? Huh? But then eventually... Do you use those? The ones that buff all stats, or do you try to go for something that buffs higher things? And I 
the full Valkyrie armor you get at the end of the game is a buff to all stats. It prefers a well-rounded, which is great because that's all I ever did. I, I honestly didn't look at the stats. I played, like, the game without ever really looking at, like, oh, this one buffs my defense, I'm going for a really teched-out vitality setup or a more luck thing. Uh, I didn't look at it. Okay. I was, like, all in on the abilities of the things. Like, <clears throat> enchantments that are like, oh, this one's pretty good. It either, if it didn't buff all stats, like Anvari's Soul yeah. or Tears Shard. Right. I wanted stuff that had, like, extra effects. Uh, oh, one of the best, the Valkyrie's Wrists. Uh, whenever you kill an enemy with a runic attack, you get a chance to reload all your runic attacks. Mm. And who boy, that's legit. Yeah. Uh, and there's another, I don't know if it was an enchantment, or no, it was my, uh, axe blade. Uh, every hit had a chance to get a healing mist, which came with regeneration and a runic boost. Uh, and then at the, like, later into the game, I started discovering the spin axe. Oh, when uh, you dodge and throw? Uh, no, when you just chain it, when you hold R1 and your axe spins in front of you. Oh. Uh, which was my best and worst tool in the final Valkyrie fight. Because uh, she picks up all the Valkyrie abilities. Right. And one of the Valkyrie abilities is a big metal wings in front of her. <clears throat> and then if you hit it twice, blasts you away for damage. Right. Uh, and nine times out of ten, when I would see her finish an attack, I would go for that. And she put the th puts the thing down, and that's like five hits to just blast me away. Yeah. Uh, the upside, though, is each one of those counts as a hit. And it's like seven or eight times in that spin. Yeah. So all your stuff that's like chance to do this on a hit. Oh. Yeah. You're so like uh <clears throat> the one I was using before was the grip of Tanagost, which had a chance for an electricity explosion. Yeah. Which was real good. Yeah, that was I think I used that for a little while. Uh or a lot of while. <laughs> my uh summon was the dogs for a long time. Yeah. Because they had the highest damage. Right. And then I got Murder of Crows, which was all in on damage and no stun, uh, which I just ended up doing instead. Yeah, that it. I mean, it, when you're fighting a boss, you don't yeah. really care about stun. Uh, and I used uh, Ratanoscar a lot. Did you find the squirrel? Yeah, I found the squirrel. Uh, who betrayed me at the end of the game. Betrayed he you? To be, a, be a little dickling about things. I know he didn't like me. But when well, you, have, I, you don't know that. <laughs> when you have... He, I know he doesn't like me. He yells at you. What? When you summon him, he yells at you. Oh. Yeah, he's a bitter squirrel. Oh. Uh, but he... He would unearth... Uh, health, when you need health, and rage, when you need rage. So I'm looking on the final uh, realm tear in... <clears throat> Niflheim. Niflheim. And I summon the squirrel. He gives me three healths. And he's like, learn to dodge. And I'm like, I'm at full health. <laughs> I needed rage. I need rage. I'm out of rage. Learn to dodge. So I'm like, and it's like a four minute reload time on that. And so I go. His name? Uh, it's Penguin. <laughs> <laughs> so I leave, or I like, I, I literally, game's loading. I'm waiting for the squirrel to come back. Do it again. More health. Come on, you little jackass. Uh, and then he just keeps giving me health, and then I'm walking up to the final Valkyrie fight, and I'm like, I have 90% to my first bar of rage, please. And he's like, here's some health, and I'm like, you can go fuck yourself. Which is fine, because I realized, uh, in that fight, that the controller's again not big enough for, uh, all the things. Because yeah. the lock-on button is R3, uh, but the run button is L3. Yeah. So, uh, when you have to do the stupid little turnaround mid-fight... Because you do have to. That's the only time you use turnaround is mid-fight when the Valkyries are doing their stupid blinding attack. Yeah. Uh, I would have to relock onto her. Also, if you lock onto the Valkyries, the beam doesn't shoot them. It huh? misses them just the slightest bit. That's weird. So you have to unlock on and aim back at them. Uh, but it's great because the beam normally takes off like one and a half health bars. Uh, and then if she's weakened, like three health bars. Jesus. Yeah, it's... So crucial for that fight. Uh, you gotta do the time stop, you gotta do the beam, and that's it. That's your setup. Time stop, beam, uh, you switch up. Oh, what did you have uh, Atreus wear? 
at oh, risk. God, I think I had him do a recovery. Yeah, I had him do the sharpshooter garb for a long time. I, I think I had him as red for a while, but then I switched to blue. Uh, so there's red, blue, and yellow? Yeah. Uh, I never had red. I never tried red. Uh, I did yellow because it's higher damage, higher damage when he's in air, uh, higher damage at the end of a chain, uh, and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then at the... I was watching him shoot in the fight, and I was like, that's not enough. Uh, I switched over to the Legendary Recovery, where health stones heal more, he can find health stones, yep. and he does a little bit more status damage after he summons. Because she drops health stones, and w- that, combined with the healing mist, uh, combined with like the one ru- uh, enchantment I had that was a little bit of health regen, yeah. was like just enough to get me through that fight. But yeah. Uh, I also, there was only one challenge in Moose Lime I couldn't do. What can you do? Uh, and you don't need to to plot up the game, thankfully. But it's a challenge that, uh, you have a timer, and the timer refills as you beat enemies. Yeah. Uh, on the impossible difficulty, it's straight up impossible. No, like, exaggeration. You just can't do it. Because it's like, hey, here's a revenant. Hey, uh, here's a revenant and a bunch of uh, the stupid things that go in the ground. Oh God! Uh, hey, here's a traveler. Jesus Christ! Hey, here's like a bunch of the dudes who regain their health if you don't uh, focus in on them. Oh, boy. and it's just like, and it's like the ice revenant too, like the hardest kind of revenant to fight. And it's just like, Jesus! Oh my God! And it's I, I tried it like five or six times, and the enemies just keep coming. If it ended ever, I could do it. <laughs> But, like, I cleared out the... I beat out three waves of it, including the Revenant, and then a bunch of the little Ice Dudes, but the Ice Dudes just kept coming. I was like, if they ever stop... Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. But I, sure. you don't need to do it to bite on the game. Right. You need three keys to get to the final difficulty. So I got the three keys, went to the final difficulty, got a silver rank in it, but it gave me the trophy, so... Okay. All good. I guess I need to do that. I don't think I got the keys. Uh, I mean, you need... So once you beat all five levels, fight the Valkyrie. I'm like, man, Muselheim, done. And then uh, your your boy is like, the voice is impressed. Uh, he said, anybody who can defeat a Valkyrie must be strong. And I'm like, you're damn right. And he's like, I think all the swords reset. And I was like, what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, goddamn swords reset. <laughs> so you go back down and you do the impossible level difficulties of like all the different challenges. Oh, okay. But, but you, I guess I. Fuck. I wish I could like turn it on right now and see if I beat the Valkyrie. Yeah, just run up to the top of Moose Flame. Yeah. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. What are we at time wise? Twenty five minutes. Really? Yeah. Feels like it's been longer. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've been all over the place. So, I'm probably going to attempt to platinum Spider-Man. Yeah. I only need to do certain challenges. I don't need to do the screwball challenges because main game isn't affected by DLC. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just did that to get the Spider-Verse suit. Yeah. But, uh, Golding... Uh, do, getting gold in every single the Taskmaster challenges that'll be tough uh, so if you yeah the challenges are always the worst part of those games I was really thankful that God of War didn't have any of those kind of things I mean that's usually what turns me off of platinuming a game if it's like here's a bunch of trials with levels of difficulty yeah. and you have to get the perfect ones the only favor I didn't complete in God of War was the Executioner's Cleave uh, because you know there's the, uh... Oh, like, there's the challenges? It's not really challenges, but it's like, kill a hundred wolverines. Oh, kill yeah. Kill a hundred of this thing. Yeah. Kill a hundred of this thing. Uh, I did all of those in, like, the one kill a hundred enemies challenge in Moosefelheim. Yeah. But, uh, the Executioner's Cleave is the thing where you hold, uh, R2. It's the slowest attack. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. Yeah. But I only did it 25 times, uh, in the whole game. Uh. It's good against big enemies. Yeah, and it's good if you use the ice, because you can freeze them in place. Yeah. Uh, but, oh, God, was I going to... No, but that's usually what turns me off of uh, Platinum Games, is the 
challenges and like gold tiers and stuff like that. I feel like I was gonna say something to trust before that. Oh yeah, do you want a spoiler for if you are gonna Platinum God of War, I guess you don't want it, but there's a spoiler for God of War two. Really? Uh at the end of God of War One. Like the credits? No. Like a conversation with Mimir. <gasps> Uh, I'm not gonna plan them in. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt it, uh, but, yes, give me the, spo- lay the spoilers on me. Spoilers for God of War. So, uh, Alan sort of spoiled it for me also, because he knows a lot about, more about Norse mythology. Yeah. Um, but, so I was like, oh, I gotta beat the Queen of the Valkyries, uh, Sigrid. And I was like, Sigrid isn't the Queen of the Valkyries? And <gasps> I was like, who's the Queen of the Valkyries? He was like, Freya. Yeah, I know Freya. Uh. She's trying to get her wings back. Oh, Yeah. Did you have that conversation? Yeah. What? Yeah. I'm trying to get her warrior spirit back. When did you have that conversation? Uh, I just... Uh... When does it happen? End of the game. End of... You have the... I had the conversation after I beat Sigrund, and she was like, I can... My uh, actual queen, Freya. Once Freya stepped down, I filled the power vacuum. Uh... I think after I killed one of the Valkyries. That makes no sense. It's when I after. It's after I beat the game. Did you kill all the Valkyries after you beat the game? Yeah. Uh, because maybe, Sigrid, I watched, maybe I watched a YouTube video. Maybe yeah, because Sigrid is uh, toted up as the queen of the Valkyries until you kill her. Right. And then she tells you about Freya, and then the yeah. is like, uh, yeah, Freya. Uh, I told Freya where her wings were, everything I knew about her, where her wings were. Yeah. Trying to get her warrior spirit back, so, you know. And I was like, oh, man, do I get to fight Freya next? Wait a minute. That's probably the next game. Let's get next I just game. I the plat. Oh, uh, let's just say... Man, I don't like Freya. Yeah. Man, I really don't like her. Like, she's nice and all, but then you realize... Oh. Yeah. She's manipulative. <laughs> she's just like Odin. I mean, maybe she's not just like Odin. Yeah, that's, a, it, that's a stretch. But she ruined the one, the life of the one person she loved. Yeah, that's a that's a tough one because she loved herself more. Uh, it's it's a d- cool take on it. Uh, Alan told you the how the actual um, legend goes. Uh, maybe tell me uh, that Balder just can't be killed. Right, he just can't be killed. Normal. Everybody, everybody uh, liked him so much. That all the gods went around and were like, uh, hey, let's make a deal. You can't ever kill Baldur. Everything. They went to everything. Every animal, every thing, every big fall. Well, here's the thing. Olora's gonna kill him. But they didn't talk. They didn't they ask didn't... the mistletoe. They talked Shit. to the arrows, but not mistletoe. Because... They didn't talk to. They didn't talk to. Uh. Sindri. Yeah. Sindri, can you, I'm I'm busy right now. <laughs> I, Wait, Sindri, it's important. Sindri. <laughs> I, I'm too busy. Look at all this cool missiles I found. Sindri, Sindri no. wait! <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so that's the only thing that could kill him. And then uh, Loki played a prank uh, in which he was like, Hey, dude, you're going to do a cool, fun prank because, you know, Baldur can't die. Throw this spear or missile throw at him. Fuck, straight killed him. Uh, and then... Who? Who did that? Uh, like a dude. Like a random dude. That what? Was tricked. What? I think it was like a... I think it was a god or whatever. Uh... A random dude killed some, Balder? Yeah, some nobody. <laughs> uh, but then... So, he gets... He, uh, Balder goes to hell. Now the hall. Whatever. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> he doesn't die a warrior's death. <laughs> <laughs> he dies like a, 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 a prank. Uh, he dies because of a prank. Uh, and then, so, uh, Hell's got him in Helheim, uh, and she's like, uh, I'm not gonna give him back. And then, like, you have to. <laughs> what? Uh, and she's like, if you can get everybody to say they want him back, uh, and they go to everybody, and they're like, Oh, that's why? Yeah, bring Balder back. Uh, and then, there's one old woman who says, No, I don't want Balder back. Uh, and then they're and like, Who is that woman? Damn, guess. It's Hell. It was Loki. <laughs> Loki. So I'm confused. I didn't understand the part of the story where Loki wasn't allowed to say it in the first place. Uh, like, they had to ask everybody, but that doesn't include Loki, period. Normal, not an old woman. Uh, but yeah, so that's a wacky goof. 
No. <laughs> it's not a wacky goof. He's hurting me. <laughs> He's hurting me. Hell liked Baldur so much she didn't want to give him back. Yeah. Uh, there's also the fun bird in Hell. Do you remember the bird? Oh, I took so many pictures of the bird. Uh, I looked at the bird so much when I was like on the boat. Yeah. It was because it was funny because. Uh, Is that Hell? That's not Hell. That's a, just a bird in Hell. What? That's uh, that's what I thought. So. Alan saw it uh, when I got there because I was like, are there treasures in this room? In the big open room with the bridges? And it was like, no. But I saw the bird and I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and I was That's like, a fucking bird? do you not know? And he was like, no. Uh, turns out it is a real bird who watches over the dead. It's like a real Oh, it's like a real bird? bird. Like a Norse mythology. Like a real bird. Like a real bird outside. <laughs> that bird could be that bird. There they are. That bird, yeah, that one. <laughs> uh, but... They don't do anything. It's funny that that bird doesn't do anything. Just looks around. Just looks around, yeah. That, in, that, w I was so enamored with that bird when, you know, when I was in Helheim. It's like, it's this amazing set piece that's just like, oh. One of my favorite things about God of War, all things considered, is that it's very gener generous to Platinuming. Uh, because they so easily could have made it the worst. But there are no skippable collectibles. Find out the, the secret of the bird. Is that, a, is that a trophy? Is that a trophy? <laughs> that's the plat. <laughs> that's a that's the hidden trophy. Uh, oh. <laughs> that's so funny to me is the idea that it's just like you unlock a trophy at some point that's just like find out the secret of the bird. Well, I didn't like, find what, out. What, what, I, what I find out, I picked up a, a, a mask. I picked up a treasure map <laughs> on the ground. What do you mean I found out the secret of the bird? <laughs> what is the secret of the bird? Did I, is that a glitch? Like it has the picture, but it's the picture of the start of the game. What? <laughs> <laughs> trophy unlocked. Father and son. What? Find out the secret of the bird. Wait a minute. <laughs> is that Freya's wings? Is that Cobblepot? Is that the penguin? <laughs> yes. <gasps> Batman did that. I did that. <laughs> and I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> we should make a Batman animated series. Should we? Yeah, we got a lot of good ideas. Oh. I'm thinking the Joker could be like a fun having guy. He's voiced by Mark Hamill. Mr. Freeze. That would never work. His wife is dead. Uh, uh, he's doing science about it. Cobblepot is a freak. <laughs> uh, Bane's a... cool. Bane's fine. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think Sandman's dead in the uh, in the in Insomniac Spider Man. That's fine. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think Sandman dies a lot in all the Spider Man universes. He has to. What? He can't... They can't put him in jail. <laughs> He's sand. He has to die. What? Yeah. That's not... No. He can't go to jail, so if he can't He's go to jail... He's the least problematic villain. Let's talk about One Piece. Wait, uh, no, wait, 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 In one of the backpacks, you find a vial of sand. Uh... And Peter's like, uh... I, I wonder if I open this up, it'll if it'll release him. Or something like that. It's like, still haven't uh, mustered up the the courage to do it or something. Like, wait, is he dead? Is he in there? Did, did you keep him in that in vial a, in a backpack in that a you backpack lost? That you put, that you webbed up underneath the Empire State Building, Peter? <laughs> underneath the Empire State in the sewers? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. You go in the tree, you go in the uh, sticky sewers, Sandman. Sandman. <laughs> I don't have the courage to open you up, Sandman. Under the Empire State you go, <laughs> with all my other backpacks. <laughs> How many back Peter, you can't afford this. <laughs> you gotta, no, that's the fun thing. In one of the backpacks, uh, he has a Wilson Fisk trophy. Uh, this says, I couldn't take the check, but I did take the lifetime supply of backpacks. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. Peter! <laughs> that's an irresponsible use of backpacks. If someone finds the backpack, your, your identity's poof. I mean, it's webbed up. They can't get break the webs. They're indestructible. <laughs> no, in the no, the first backpack he walks up to it and it's like a cutscene and he just holds it once and does a gentle tug and the the weathered webbing just poof. <laughs> God, nobody looks at things in New York. You gotta know. Yeah, that's fair. And that's it. <laughs>